Hi everybody. Uh, today I've got this microwave here. This one found it in the dumpster. And it's it looks pretty clean. I don't think that anything is wrong with it. But actually the only thing that's wrong with it is Because the front legs are, are broken. But yes, I actually took the side off so you can see inside it. I haven't done anything on it yet. I have not touched anything. And I have not discharged that capacitor. So we can begin with the discharge that cap. But first, before you discharge it, or do anything in the microwave, always discharge the capacitor. I took that microwave from the dumpster was because of two things. One was the MOT, and the second one, yes, now all of you are guessing the capacitor, but no, it's not the capacitor. It's actually the magnetron. Because I'm not going to use the magnetron as a magnetron. I'm going to use it as a diode. I need to take, take the whole magnetron apart and take the magnets off and I will end up with one of these that's inside the internal part of the magnetron but actually I want the cooling fins left on it I don't want to take them off like I've done with this one but one thing with magnetrons is that those parts here, the insulators are toxic. Don't break, don't break them or grind them. Extremely dangerous. Actually, don't scratch them as well. Very dangerous stuff. It, it's beryllium oxide on it. Or actually, beryllium oxide ceramic. That's poisonous to breathe in if you get a powder or dust. I use an insulated screwdriver because I think that's charged. So yes, there's so much in it. You don't have that guide for the magnetron, the plastic thing that actually guides the cold air through the cooling fins here and into the microwave. Actually, you can see the light bulb. And yes, I've got some timers and stuff. Nothing interesting. Move it. And yes, it was Electrolux. And this one has a grill as well on the top. So I salvage them as well. And the fan of course looks pretty clean. Why did they even throw this thing away? Let's discharge that cap. Now it's time to discharge the capacitor. And I'm going to use this type of screwdriver. And yes, and you will say it's actually now. Oh, that looks dangerous. Yes, but inside the capacitor, there is a plastic shield between the inner plates, actually the, the, that electrodes that's wrapped, wrapped together, and the outer housing. So actually, there's isolate, isolated from ground. But always, this, this, this capacitor has a resistor, but, but don't rely on the resistor. It may get destroyed, or burned off in, inside it, or the solder is getting off, so the resistor actually bounces off, and it will hold the charge. So I'm going to discharge it, and see if we get anything. Let's get a bit closer if we, if, we, if we see any spark. I think we don't see anything. It's not normal with sparks on microwave capacitors these days. So yes, now it's time to discharge it. Let's see what happens. Jävlar i helvete! That was a bit of a f***ing bang. That's how important it is to discharge the capacitors. Holy shit, that was a bit of a large bang. Oh. 
Holy crap. That was loud. So now you see how important it is to actually discharge the capacitor. So yes, now I hope that capacitor is discharged. Holy crap, that capacitor holds a lot of charge. Let's begin with the main port. Let's take the MOT out. Everybody knows the MOT is held in by these four screws here. And yes, I hope the bloody capacitor is discharged. That bloody explosion in it. So I first need to remove these connectors from the from the magnetron and that one from the so now we just take the screws out. That's how important it is actually discharge the capacitors before servicing the mic microwave. Yes, there's the MOT and it's still attached to the bloody capacitor. Let's have the MOT. And yes, it stands discharge capacitor before servicing. And that's how important it is to discharge the capacitor. Yes, something fell down. I'll take that out. And the fan, and at last the capacitor. Yes, I bloody don't know how the hell they had connect those bloody connectors in. There are no clips on it, there looks often a little... If I'm trying my knife, there's it. It's a little clip here, they just push it in and you can lift the connector up. But they don't have that, and they're pretty hard to get off. So yes, I see the magnet run out. on it and yes here we got the problem there's the problem why the bloody connectors are so hard and the capacitor exploded I mean, it actually didn't explode it just was a lot of charge in it so yes the magnetron looks good the filament isn't broken if the filament is broken it sounds something like this I don't know if you can hear it, but I, I feel I'm actually broken inside it and the, the metal parts are just scrambling on the plates inside it. To do with this magnetron, so I just don't do this if you don't need to do it. But I actually need the diode inside it, so actually the tube, to actually do a little diode with it. And actually... I need to get these magnets out. If they're staying there, it will produce mag microwaves. But if I take them apart, the whole tube will just get a normal diode. Yes, now the capacitor's on the side. I don't need to be worrying about that. Let's take those uh, tubes out. The grill tubes. And the sun again. That shit connectors for and there we got the tubes uh, on it but they're working good as ballast yes oh, dodgy look at that we don't want that lady wire one centimeter longer it's too expensive Need to make it as short as we can. I take the let's take the shaded pole fan out. Oh, look at that. Something had gone very hot in there. Yes, I've never seen something like that before. Just like the capacitor. How can it even be possible? That welding there on the copper wire must have been very, very bad. Because that wire is maybe conducting 10 or 20 amps. 
and is in operation. That must have very bad weld just here. I don't think the fan run very well on that. Now most of the wirings are disconnected and let's take the front panel off. It's always nice to take the front panel off because sometimes strange things happen. If I push the door open, it actually opens the front timer panel. That's good to know. And now I never can open that door again. And yes, there's no special things on this little piece of timer board. So I maybe salvage those relays. Can be good to have. Yes, there were a triple micro switch in there. That means three micro switches. Because I know how to take the door up. And it's just hit the capacitor. There you are, turntable motor. Yep, came out. So yes, there we got it. And of course, you need to stuck. Yes, here we got it. Rest of it, just metal and plastic. There are on the microwave. So now we see how dangerous that can be. There's capacitors and scrap. And we charged. And it all is important to discharge the capacitor before doing anything with the microwave. Otherwise, it can be very dangerous. So, thanks for watching.